Welcome to the Crypto Mastery Class. This is where we make crypto easy to understand and simple to invest in. I am Susie, aka Crypto Girl, and we've got Joe on the line, and he is the creator of some amazing indicators. Today, we're going to go over the news, overall market, some hot movers in the basket, and look at the indicators and some Q&A, questions and answers. Most important, we want to hear from you guys. So today, Bitcoin price indicator that marked 2015 and 2018 bottoms is flashing by Gashu on Cointelegraph.com. This week, Bitcoin's 150-day EMA is set to close below its 471, 471-day EMA for only the third time in history. Bitcoin could undergo a massive price recovery in the coming months based on an indicator that marked the 2015 and 2018 bear market bottoms. What's the Bitcoin Pi Cycle Bottom Indicator? Dubbed Pi Cycle Bottom, the indicator compromises a 471-day simple moving average, SMA, and a 150-period exponential moving average, EMA. Furthermore, 471-day SMA is multiplied by 0.745. The outcome is pitted against the 150-day EMA to predict the underlying market's bottom. Notably, each time the 150 period EMA has fallen below 471 period SMA, it has marked the end of a Bitcoin bear market. For instance, in 2015, the crossover coincided with Bitcoin bottoming near $160 in January 2015, followed by an almost 12,000% bull run towards $20,000 in December 2017. Similarly, the second 150-471 MA crossover in history marked the end of the 2018 bear cycle. It also followed a 2,000% rally from nearly $3,200 in December 2018 to 69000 in November 2021. This week, Bitcoin's 150-day EMA at 32,332 as of July 12th, is set to close below its 471 day EMA at 32,208, thus logging the third Pi cycle bottom in its history. Next, we have the Vassil hard fork could lead to a 10 times game for Cardano ADA by Danielle on coincora.com. At the moment, Cardano ADA is relatively undervalued in terms of utility. When looking at its biggest competitor, Ethereum ETH's market cap around $128 billion, Cardano's market cap of about $14 billion is dwarfed in comparison. This alone is a key indicator of how undervalued ADA is seeing that it offers more utility than Ethereum at the moment. Cardano is more scalable than Ethereum given its faster transaction speeds, and as a result, transaction fees on the Cardano network are significantly lower than those of Ethereum. Cardano's price has the potential to go 10 times due to the long-awaited Bastille hard fork if historic ADA fork events are anything to go by. In addition to this, a 10 times target for Cardano is justified given ADA's all-time high of $3.10 in September of 2021. Using Cardano as an example, a good approach to identifying coins with good upside potential is to look at the utility compared to their price and the market cap of their biggest competitors. Also, take note of the level of development activity for the project in a bear market such as one we are currently in the middle of. According to CoinMarketCap, Cardano is currently worth $0.43 cents after 5.67% drop in price over the last 24 hours and after reaching a high of $0.45 cents over the same period. Cardano is also down 6.11% over the last seven days. The Ethereum killer's 24-hour trading volume is currently up 8.39% and now stands at 7 
707 million dollars in terms of market cap the crypto currently stands at 14 million in market cap last part of the news is brazil's largest payment app to enable 65 million users to buy bitcoin and this was by and on bitcoinmagazine.com so brazil's largest digital payment app called picpay is set to enable its over 65 million users to purchase Bitcoin on its platform. It's unclear if users will be able to withdraw their Bitcoin. PicPay says seeks to enable to use, so PicPay seeks to enable the use of Bitcoin as payment, not just an investment. Brazilian fintech app PicPay will launch an in-app cryptocurrency exchange allowing its over 65 million users to trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as its first crypto product offering, according to a blog post from the company. Quote, our first novelty in the cryptocurrency market will be an exchange, which is a broker for those who want to invest in cryptocurrencies at PicPay, said Anderson Chamon, VP of Technology and Products of PicPay. The user who wants to know where to buy cryptocurrencies will be able to do everything through the app with a very simple, practical, and safe experience. In addition to launching an exchange allowing its users to buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin, PicPay seeks to integrate payments with cryptocurrencies in the economy. PicPay will enter the crypto market to lead its popularization not only as an investment, but also as a way to decentralize payments and other financial services, said Anderson Champon, VP of Technology and Products. So now we're going to check the overall market, Bitcoin and Ethereum market caps. But before we look at specifically Bitcoin and Ethereum, I just want you guys to see the total cryptocurrency market cap this morning. It's $883 billion. And this is a seven day chart so you can see it dipped down almost to 750 billion but as soon as it went down it went straight back up so that is something you want to take note in that if you have stop losses in sometimes movements like that could make you base it'll it'll take you out of your positions all right so and unfortunately that's one of the risks that we take when we do do stop losses on our assets all right, because sometimes people are just moving massive amounts of money through Bitcoin or whatever that asset is that caused this to drop. And uh, they're just moving it uh, or, or, you know, they're, these whales can move the market. Let's just put it that way. All right. So just be careful with your stop losses and know that that happens. And these charts are a good place to come to on coin market cap. You just click on the market cap on the upper left hand corner. If you look at that, you click on that blue number and then this chart will come up. Now I've put the blue markings on this and I've darkened the lines so that you can easily see them. So you're not gonna get that when you look at this, but I just wanted you guys to see how to look at it and how to find it. So next on Coin360, they have a really good heat map. And this right now is showing you the one week performance chart in market cap block sizes. So this is great for my visual learners. It's showing on a one week basis, Bitcoin went down 1.84% and Ethereum went down 6.98%. Now the block sizes mean what it shows and it's reflecting how much money is invested in each one of these assets. So the bigger the block, the more money is invested. So typically they would say the more stable the investment would be. This And none of this that I'm talking about today is financial advice as I'm not a financial advisor. I just want you to understand how to read and utilize the tools that we have at our fingertips right now to make good conscious choice decisions on how to manage your assets. So I did put a star on the upper right area on top of Matic. And I want you to take note that Matic is a dark, dark green. That means Matic's price went up three steps. So something's going on in Matic land. Notice that the, the block size isn't humongous, you know, compared to USDC or Ethereum or BNB, but it is bigger than Mana, Sand, and Ape. So, and it's Sheep, different shape a little bit. But it's uh, she looks like it's got more money than Matic at this point. But it's good to see, you know, these smaller coin quantities 
Um, not that I'm disregarding anything with Matic. Matic is Polygon, and it's, it's a good fundamental product, I believe in. Um, but it's good to kind of see what's going up. Just want you to take note on that. So if you have Matic, there be there could be some profit to take if you purchased it uh, within the last week or so. All right, and then you have the three steps down, which are the dark red. Each shade is representing, if it's red, it's, it's representing one step down in price. And there's three shades. So the, the dark red is what you're seeing on, I believe Ethereum could be the dark red. It's like, it says if we're missing a shade of red on this. So I like to look at the dark reds just so you guys know how I utilize this information to zone in on something that's what I would say on sale, right? You want to get it when it's really low. <laughs> at this point, most of the market's on sale, right? In, um, in a longer term perspective, I would say. So if you look at like maybe a three month chart. So with this being said, at this point, I would be waiting to figure out what has hit the floor, what I'm waiting to buy if I'm in the USA. If I'm out of the USA, then go ahead and short the market, have fun, <laughs> make a lot of money. All right, so we're gonna review the indicators, look more into them. If you haven't subscribed to the indicators, you can at cryptomastery.online. So Bitcoin USD, a one week performance chart with the radar indicator. So this is showing on the right hand lower area, one hour, four hours, one day, and one week averages. So for the one hour, Bitcoin is going up. For the four hours, it's moving up. For the one day average, it's going down. And the one week average, it's moving up. So it'll be exciting to watch Bitcoin this week and see what happens with that new floor that we just discovered in the article. Here's Bitcoin utilizing the one week performance chart with crypto mastery indicators. You have the early reversal. And again, this is a one week chart. So every little candlestick you see here represents one week. So the early reversal indicator is one of my far favorite indicators. And it's showing us right now that it is so below the averages. This, the three lines you see on that early reversal are the Keltner band and when it's below the lower Keltner band, that is super sale. Uh, but you also see that the early reversal indicator that it's moving upward on the one week average has not triggered. So at this point, it's, um, you know, safe is boring sometimes, right? It's like the watching game. All right, when is it going to finish dropping for a long term basis and have more of a long term momentum moving up? So the trend for the one week is still moving down. The trend strength has looks like it's stabilized on this side range on the trend strength indicator one thing that's positive for potential upward movement is that you can see that the red arrow hasn't come in for the week so it could have just it there's some you can see that there is some resistance in the force of it moving more down and it's like fighting to go back up this signal line what i like about this one you see the red line going down and then the the gold line on top they're merging getting closer so typically when that happens you have a directional change so it's just the waiting game and lower right hand corner this is a such a great indicator to the volatility index what gets me super excited about this as I sit on the sidelines waiting to get 100% back in is the 477 volatility index. Um, I'll jump in and show you what the volatility means in a minute, but basically it means it's oversold. And typically Bitcoin does not get into this zone very often. So we're in a very unique situation and it's so exciting because I feel very confident that you know once we, the 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 switch starts flipping towards the upward direction. Uh, I know that when I get back in, I'm positioned so much on the floor that up is the only way to go. <laughs> so that's the name of the game. Like get in on the floor so the ceiling has a long way to grow. So now we have Ethereum one week performance chart with the radar indicator. So for the one hour, Ethereum is going down on that average. For the four hour average, it's moving up. The one day average is down and the one week average is up according to the radar. So these radars are pretty cool, guys. You can turn four charts into one. Typical traders have about five computer monitors so they can look at all these different statistics at the same time. And with the radar, it's just laptop mode. That's all I got to say. It's very simple, sweet. 
you will be able to know what's going on um, instead of having four monitors. It's a beautiful thing. You can also customize those timeframes too. All right, so here's Ethereum. So currently Ethereum and Bitcoin are still very similar on their situations. So Ethereum is still showing way below the, on the upper right hand area on the early reversal, it's way below the lower Keltner band. And that's super exciting for someone just waiting to get in. So you can see that, look at that one, two, three, four candlesticks on the upper right hand corner. They are essentially in the same position, which what I call it's sidelining. So you have equal resistance from the, the top and the bottom, right? The ups and the downs. It's just um, very exciting because this means it could, you know, at this point, you can go in any direction. I, I'm going to tend to think that it's going to move more in an upward direction because we have, let's just keep going down the line and we'll get to the volatility index because I think we're so close to the floor. So the trend strength, similar to Bitcoin, you still haven't had another one of those red arrows down indicating that we are moving down. So it's showing we're sideways on a one week average. The signal line, just like Bitcoin, you can see the red line and the gold line coming closer. It's not there yet, but this is a one week chart. So the numbers for the week, they come in only once a week. So you can dive down into a earlier time frame to kind of see what's going on on that. The volatility index is at a 5.67. So guys, just like Bitcoin, Ethereum does not get down to this zone on a one week average often. So I'm just gonna reiterate that this is an exciting time to be watching the market and having your money on the sidelines waiting to get in because the floor is, is it's it's got to be close because we are so low so low so i'm looking forward to seeing in the next few months is to see who becomes a super duper winner here once they once the floor gets set so the basket that we've created is bitcoin ethereum polygon cardano chainlink litecoin cosmos algorand harmony phantom and solana and most of these can be found on coinbase I do want to take note that Solana on Coinbase is now getting a staking percentage fee. So that's pretty exciting. And there are a few more on Coinbase that you, even though you, oh, and Cosmos, Adam is another one that gets a staking fee. Um, so that's something that if you do get it and hold it, it's good for a long-term hold percentage that you're going to earn on that in Coinbase. So some hot movers in the basket today are SNX, Quantum, ICP, AVAX, BAT, Link, and Sol. As they're up, uh, SNX is up 6%, QNT is up 4%, ICP 4%, AVAX 3%, BAT is up 2%, Link is up 2%, and Sol is up 2%. So on your watch list, um, I want you to know that you can organize them on TradingView by change percentage, amount of change in price, last price, symbol name. You can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell. And these coins are up for the day, but I always look for the coins on the floor to be ready to buy from the next low. So we have the crypto screener on TradingView. For somebody that's here that's not on TradingView yet or have just haven't really utilized all the the technology that you have at your fingertips. Um, I just want you to know, if you go to the crypto screener, you can go to the filter and you can click exchange and pick the exchange that you actually use so that you can centralize your focus on just the coins that you have access to buy on the exchange that you're using. So also on the color coding, color code your watch list, and then you click on the ticker symbol on the left-hand side and it'll pull up just those coins. So then you have, we are going to review the indicators. Oh, so we're going to quickly go through the indicators. Again, if you haven't got them, you can go to cryptomastery.online. All right, so here are the indicators. You have volatility index, early reversal indicator, dynamic ATR, trend indicator, TSI, radar screener, and signal line. So the radar, it's used to organize your watch list for trade progression. It shows different times. It can be applied to multiple indicators and it allows you to see four plus time frames. And this is the radar that we saw earlier. And here is the radar where you can click on the upper left hand area 
and it actually shows you the time frames three minutes five minutes ten minutes thirty minutes so that way if you're an intraday trader you can look at a shorter time frame then you have the trend indicator which comes with a key and then you have the bell that pops up and then numbers one through seven there's going to be a lot more training inside the members area of crypto mastery to go over these so i just wanted to quickly show you the slides so you can see a little bit more but i definitely recommend you go into the members area of crypto mastery and you'll be able to get a deep dive analysis of how to read these indicators because i want to get into the live charts so just to quickly review, you have the key that comes in, says there's a key opportunity, the bell pops up, says, hey, this bell alert, and then one through seven just says, hey, we're still going in that upward direction. The other indicators we have in our bundle are the volatility index, signal line, trend strength indicator, and the early reversal indicator that you guys saw earlier. And here is an example with them labeled. And then the volatility index, it's great. The bottom area is basically saying, hey, we're on super sale. This is where I buy. And the upper area is where you take profits. So again, you can go to cryptomastery.online and check out that uh, members area. It's amazing. And you're going to learn a lot. So now we are going to go live and we've got Joe on the line. So if you want to jump in, Joe uh that would be great i'm just gonna sorry guys i gotta clean my um sorry about that noise okay so joe is on the line and if you guys have any questions please put them in the questions box and it would be great to jump in and we'll clean up our watch list and see what's going on there live hello hi susie how's it going hi joe great hi hi everyone um, you know, I was just going through the coins uh, as you were going through the news here, and um, you know, uh, one of the coins in particular that I kind of seen that was uh, it just gave a, a print on the ERI I wanted to take a look at was one of the pairs, and and what happens is a lot of times before we or when the market is getting ready to uh, make uh, market movement or volatility increasing, you'll generally see it in the pairs. So if you if you go to the uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, LTC, ETH, okay, and if you change that to a daily. So um, right now in here, you have, uh, if you can make that chart a little bit uh, smaller, and if you can put on the uh, radar, right now, guys, I'm going to move the radar down. Guys, so I just want to make sure you guys know how to do that. You would just go to settings here and then you there's an area where you can move it down to another screen okay. right and um, when you take a look at this you'll see in here how uh, if we have a, a print on the ERI but it hasn't started hasn't started to move yet now ironically if you change that to the uh, Litecoin which is because um, this is a pair and, and that means that this is Litecoin Ethereum. And then if you just go to Litecoin, which is, you know, another part of this, the major, right? You can kind of see in here how, you know, uh, we're about to, I think, move out of this pattern here that we're in. So what we should see in here is, you know, the market could stay sideways. Um, but also what we might see is you might see the Litecoin go lower and we see the pair move higher. So, um, Susie, if you go back to the um, Litecoin Ethereum on the pair real quick, I just want to show you what alarms to set and what to look for.
right? Now, this is a, a little bit early because at this point, we only have the TSI, which says yes, and we have the ERI, which says yes. But what we could be doing here is setting our alert for the signal line and also setting our alert for the trend indicator. And and waiting, and if we uh, depending on uh, the volatility, uh, if that volatility starts to increase, well then, when that signal line um, gives its next signal, we could see, you know, the, um, you know, this market continue to trend higher. And, and these are this is one of the markets that in the times of when the Bitcoin and the Ethereum those markets are sideways. Uh, which we'll get to right here, um, where there could be opportunity in trading the pair. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm actually setting the alert that Joe said to set. So if you guys want to follow suit, go ahead on your trading view. So Litecoin, ETH, Binance, Signal, Signal Line, up. I'm just putting a note here so that when this email comes to me in a message, I'm going to know exactly what it means. And then my now my my alert is set so I don't have to sit and look at the computer all day. And when it's ready, then I know, OK, it's time to get in. Perfect. OK. What, what and, next? Um, uh, well, uh, next is that if you go to the Ethereum on the daily, okay, um, we had an ERI print in here the other day, and um, if you, were, uh, you know, this is the first clue that that we could be potentially heading down lower for a new low, or at least. You know, we may see the rally just pause for the short term. Um, if you, uh, if we uh, also, if you were long this market, um, I would be looking in here, you know, to let the market in here uh, wait for the next leg on the TSI. So when you see this TSI, Susie, how it's red right now. You can set your alert on the TSI, and if you're looking in here to add to your position, then the next time when we go green would be a great time. You know, because even though we see the ERI print, the market's at extreme levels where it could reverse out of this area, uh, but in the short term, um, the market is kind of paused and it's starting to get into this narrow channel. Can I show you something? I was noticing Ethereum with a one week. It went so high in one week. Look at this up here. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Well, look at this right here. Look how much it moved in one week back on May 17th, 2021. So I just wanted to bring that to the attention. This right here, If I let me just get this pulled down. Oh, why can't I get that to show? I was just amazed at what it, it did in one week on an upward movement. I guess it's just pretty much right there on that week. So so my wonderment is, is like, you know, will we hit one of those psh, instant ups in one week? You blink an eye and then <laughs> you could have doubled your money in one week. No. Any thoughts on that, Joe? Well, we could have increased uh, volatility um, once we get some capitulation. And I think that's what everyone is waiting right now. Um, we have a, another Federal Reserve meeting this month. And, um, you know, there needs to be some type of, uh, it, just in my opinion, some more, uh, some, some more mo momentum follow through. I mean, that's why you see, like, a lot of the rallies, uh, fail because it doesn't have that momentum behind it right now and, and that's what you really need for it to get back into the you know a bull state of mind <laughs> you know 
right now you're trading the uh, short-term opportunities and because there is opportunities in here um, look another opportunity I found on the cross um, because see when the, when the majors are sideways right now or the ethereum for instance Susie it, it's not so much a clear direction on this chart but if you change this chart over to the um, another pair just to show you a comparison and you make this a, a mano ethereum Right, and if you change it to a daily, okay, this is another one that could be potentially getting ready to move. So if you make that chart uh, smaller, like this, uh, yeah, the other way, like bigger, okay, and then uh, um, tighter, yeah, that one. I just wanted to just point out here that uh, where it was at in March, right, where it could be getting ready to go t challenge those hots. Look right here, meaning yeah. March of 2022. Yeah, and, and we just got the uh, ERI print today, and uh, we got the first dot on the TSI. So, again, this is something inside the cross. It hasn't moved yet, right? So, you know, if you notice in here, the signal line is still going down, right? But generally, these are um, different products that I look at when the majors aren't moving, you know? And right now, when it comes to the, the majors uh, or some of these coins really in general, a lot of them are sideways. So um, I set my alerts and I look for opportunity on the pairs. With the same rule set. Now I'm going to. Back. back. While you're doing that, I'm I'm trying to go through here and maybe find the best opportunity out here right now for today. So I'm just going to zone in on the Mana Ethereum here. So Mana had a good, good run from here to say to there, 62% in 13 days. So this is guys when you have you have Ethereum and you're using your Ethereum to buy Mana. So that that one, it you know, 62%. That's great. Mana on a one day is a lot of ups here. Yeah. It it, it even you know. went oversold in you know, as you can see guys, when it goes above the top Keltner band. So it's it's this is say if you would have gotten it down here when the volatility index was super low. Let's kind of see like where that was. This vertical line on trading view is always helpful. So you can actually find everything that goes through all your indicators. Some of those um, lines will only work on one indicator. So if you had gotten mana down here when volatility index was that low and held it until let's say one of these uh, these highs, that's 137% in 44 days. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention guys. This volatility index is pretty powerful when you know, even if a little bit of percentage goes in when you get to these all time volatility index lows, it could be exciting. Yeah. Right. You know, um, the, the, the opportunity is just really in the cross. As I was going, as you were going over that, Susie, I found in here uh, a good example of something in here um, that's moving. And ironically, this is on the, the Kikoi exchange. So, um, if we can do this, Susie, right? Because I'm going to show you a way of how, um, for anyone new that uh, is following along, of how to organize their watch list. So I, I just wanted to know if you can go to the uh, uh, watch list and create a watch list for the Kikoi exchange and um, uh, assort the watch list by our rules. Um, so we're looking at something in here, you know, we color code it. And we're looking for something in here with a daily and weekly. 
and uh, watch watch the opportunity that you find, and and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> this is the best thing about the tools because so you got to go to these different exchanges. Like right now, there's nothing going on in the Coinbase I, that really caught my eye, um, other than what I pointed out. Uh, I was as you've been on the phone, I've I was looked at three different exchanges. So if you're following along, I went and I checked uh, Coinbase. I went and I checked uh, the Binance US. And there was really nothing going on. And then my third one is this Kikoi exchange. And I found in here the perfect opportunity and example of really what I wanted to show you. So Susan's going to show you how easy it is to uh, organize and create a trading plan when you don't know what to do. All right, so I just went and I created a watch list, and you guys can probably watch this replay too to see it again. But I added QCoin, and then um, I just went into the watch list. And when I did the plus button, I when it said add symbol, I just made sure I filtered out through all sources, and I typed in QCoin, and then that way it just pulled up QCoin, and then I just added all the coins on QCoin. So now everybody that has a Qcoin exchange, then you, we've got what's going on on Qcoin right now. And then I added a subcategory green. I clicked exchange right here so that it was all the coins that were actually up for the moment, which are green and up. And then red for the, I just put the subcategory red here. And at that moment, that was what was down. But I, we were going to, use the radar i think to determine what is up or down for the, the day or the week so what time frame do you want me to put the green coated coins under what, what i want you to do is to apply the radar right and what we're looking for is that we're only looking for the daily and the weekly both to be green. Okay, so we're going to try to find in here the best opportunities that are on the Kikoi exchange at the moment with the technology. So I'm just going to color code the ones that don't have the daily and the weekly red. And the ones that do have the daily and the weekly, I'm going to code green. So if you want to follow along, just look at these two areas. So we're looking at rows. That's not Solana is not in sync with each other. Near is a red. Harmony is red. Blink is in the red. Gal is in the red. Mana is in the red. Phantoms in the red. KDA is the red. Luna is in the red. Blocks in the red. Shiba's in. Oh, let's see where Shiba is. Shiba's in the red. Ave is in the red. Tron is in the red. BNB is in the red. Theta is in the red. Bros in the red. Apes in the red, dots in the red, Cardano USD is in the red, KSC USD is in the red, Bitcoin's in the red, HTR's in the red, Atoms in the red, Ripple's in the red, Pumps in the red, Elon's in the red, Ethereum's in the red, RNDR's in the red, VRA's in the red, Unify's in the red, Chills, wow. We found one. <laughs> so I'm going to click it and pull it to the top. Hey, Susie. Yes. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. It's Brett. Just thought I'd just chime in here. And and uh, great class, by the way. I think, um, you know, what I usually look for in these down markets when everything's in the red, because obviously everything's kind of following the North Star Bitcoin 
is anything that's sort of up a little bit as you've kind of stumbled upon here. The ones that are strong in a downturn generally are the first to turn them when the markets recover. But, uh, you know, we also want to be careful not to try to catch a falling knife. We could very well have more downside. Even though the DXY just hit 108 today, it's for the local high. Uh, it's uh, I'm seeing a, like, a giant cup and handle pattern on the weekly pattern for the DXY. So we could see that thing push up to 120 meaning uh, another big leg down for Bitcoin and everything else. So while we're searching for these gems here with a little bit of green in them, uh, I would caution everybody just to you know, be, be careful, be patient. Let's wait. You know, I have the radar there is all red on, well, let's see, that's a Terra. But, um, you know, it's a good time to be sitting in our hands looking at things that we might want to get into if, and when we bottom, but you know, most likely it's going to be a double bottom and go sideways for a while. This, uh, you know, this is not over yet. But if we do see a pullback on the DXY, and you know, we're getting a little deep here, and we could see a nice little rally in the alts in Bitcoin for uh, some swing trading profits here. This looks good. Burger swap. Not sure what that is. Sounds like a sushi swap. But uh, you know, a little bit overbought there. But the trend indicator printing a bell. Got all green on the radar, so looks like that's got some more upside. And uh, so, no, nice job on finding some of these. You know, there's still are profits, as you were talking about earlier, in these bear markets on the the crypto swing lows and bouncing within channels and using the indicators. So I just wanted to throw in my two cents there. But um, anyway, looks uh, looking good. Yeah, you know, burger swap. Uh, Not familiar with that. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right? I've I'm going to double uh, that. <laughs> double that burger. I want to go get some um, burgers and fries. Yeah, good job. <laughs> um, you know, um, one Susie that I didn't see on here, which is uh, the Loom ETH. So type in that. I, I just don't know why it didn't come up. Oh, that's interesting. All right, give me a second. Let me add it this way. Uh, no, yeah, Loom. No, Loom. L O O M E T H. Fruit of the Loom, I guess. There you go. Yeah. So maybe should I just see if I didn't get all of the coins? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm sorry, so, let's jump back over. Well, what does Loom do, Joe? Any idea? Or, I mean, it doesn't always matter. We're just trading the charts. and But uh, if you have any context on that Loom network, I'm well, familiar with. Well, it, it's, um, you know, uh, the Loom is, is part of the Ethereum. And on the, the bottom right-hand side, like on the trading view, each they have like a, a breakdown on the page uh, as far as uh, uh, the latest art news article on that particular coin out. You know, I don't know specifically everything that they use, but um, that's just one of the advantages of, of trading you because it has that information here. But the main thing that I, I wanted to get to um, was is that it has all the characteristics of, of what I like to see in here um, for a market that is uh, on the move. And uh, if we take a look in here, we have the uh, the radar uh, uh, first, where we have the daily and weekly, which are both green. So you want to move that up to the top, Susie. So Susie in here, basically, out of uh, you know, out of 100 coins, you're able to find in here the best three opportunities on the Kikoi exchange at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So the whole thing is, is you were able to find the best, um, the, the three best coins at this moment, uh, which is uh, moving right now on this exchange. And uh, which now you know in here, uh, you can focus your attention on, on what's moving right now. And you set your alerts on the other products and you let the market come to you. 
So, you know, you're not trying to force anything that's not ready to happen, but at the same time, you could be speculative and gain the uh, advantage and utilize the technology on the markets that are moving. Now, <clears throat> these markets in particular, um, I'm not too familiar with. Like, I don't know Burger Swap. I, I mean, I know Burger King, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, but it doesn't mean that it's not an opportunity and uh, for something in here and at the moment of what you could be doing. And, and, right, and what I liked about this loom is, in particular, Susie, is, is that we got the uh, ERI print the other day, and you can set your alert for that. Uh, you know, all the, the uh, chart overlays, the alerts can be set for. But in particular, the other day we had the warning with the ERI. Um, the ERI and the TSI, they both uh, were going, uh, the TSI is going green. And then um, next we got the uh, signal line cross. And then today we're just getting the bell alert. And uh, if you notice, this is another cross. This is uh, ETH. So what does that mean? That means that we may see pressure on the major. This, this ETH may go down and test 100, 900. It may the old low, I think it was 700 from a few weeks ago. And then possibly this loom, which is the cross, we may see this make a new high. Like if you look at that high, Susie, well, if you make the chart a little bit more tighter, right, there's a high that was done on the uh, 19th or the 13th, right, and I look for it to take out that high right there. And then a lot of times, like these crosses, you, you know, you got to take your profits quick and have a limit out there because it'll shoot up there and it'll be a spike reversal. Um, so, you know, you, know, you, like you want to take your profits. Is this the high you were looking at right here? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that is, uh, that was June 21st. Yeah, and, and you see, ironically in there, right, if you take a look, right, at the, uh, let's go to the, um, let's go to the uh, Ethereum, Right, and let's take a look at that same date. Was that was that June twenty first? Yeah. So, so um, what I'm just trying to point out is is that when this goes down, there's the possibility that the cross could be going up. There could be an opportunity, and uh, you set your alerts with the technology so that if in the event um the conditions are applicable well then it's an opportunity so you know susie um what i just want to just point out is is that you know on that particular date the ethereum uh went down to the old lows uh which if you put your mouse there what was the low there on that date one thousand one hundred and eighteen Okay, and where are we at now? We are like, all right, 1,085 on there. Yeah, it's all you have it on the watch list on the bottom. They're at 1,085 right now. So there's a good possibility that, um, you know, this could stay under pressure. Uh, let's go back to the loom. ETH, yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah, right now we're on a bell alert and we may see a new numeric count take place, um, which means is that, that we may see it go up to three or four and put a new high in. So you wanna keep an eye out for this one here. Um, this might be a great opportunity over the next week. Um, um, coming up. You've got a question, Joe. Is this a good time to ask it? Sure. Okay, so KS says, would you buy Ethereum with USD at current levels to arbitrage into MANA to take advantage of the MANA Ethereum potential breakout?
Let me repeat it. That's um yeah, I that's one way in here that you could approach it, you know, um in there. Um I I, I you know, um usually I, I don't like to hedge, you know, so um I generally just you know, um you know, would do that coin. I, I um when it comes to the Ethereum right now, I, I wouldn't be doing any buying uh until this thing breaks a thousand. Because the old low is down near at a thousand eighteen and right now we're trading at a thousand eighty five. So um I would wait in there for the market price to be cheaper if I'm gonna do any buying at all in the Ethereum. Um you know, or give it more time, you know, because I could be wrong, you know, um, and give it more time. Awesome. Okay, he has another question for you. He says, as far as buy targets for Loom Ethereum, where do you buy at? And then he has a quote, like the middle of the Keltner channel or the lower band. Or look at a lower time frame example, one hour to set local buy target now that we have a bell on the daily. So he's looking at Loom, Ethereum. Well, I would go to the, uh, Susie, if you go in there, a good time frame is always the uh, one hour, right? And the one hour is up right now. So I'd be looking in here to see if the one hour could come back down and then come in on the next wave on the one hour. Another, like if you look at the signal line on the one hour, you can see in here at around 12 noon, Susie, like if you put a vertical line right there, yeah. uh, just pointing out when the signal line crossed, that represents um, the last cycle up uh, to, the, uh, to the left. This one right here. Right. Okay. Yes. And take the oh. other one out. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, so. Right? So, yeah, and see, I use these vertical lines, and the first thing I do is, is I come in here, and I put my vertical line in here to see when the last cycle up was. So right now, this is what's the last cycle up on the on the hourly. So what I would do is, is set my alert and wait for the next cycle up. Now, you may not get this next cycle up for about six hours or seven hours. So, um, you know, that's one way of approaching it, coming in on the next cycle. Uh, another way of approaching it is to uh, come in and look for the uh, TSI to come down off of the oversold. So, you know, that stochastics can come down in here um, and Right now, see, right now, the stochastic is on the blue. But if the market stays sideways, it could turn back up again. And um, the TSI would be the best, the second best way to enter the trade. Love it. I think that's a good explanation. All right, he's got another question. He says, the long wicks are likely MM hunting for stop losses on margin positions. Qcoin futures likely has the Loom Ethereum pair. So I think he was just he was just letting us know. Um, yeah, yeah, I got. It. Well, ironically, you can't get you can't trade that on Coinbase. They don't have it, and they don't have it over there on Binance US. So. You know these exchanges. You know they're they're like casinos, right? There's some type. There's a, a a certain amount of risk each casino takes for each game. Well, there's a certain amount of risk each brokerage takes for their coins. And some brokerages, such as Coinbase, they don't have this market listed because this is maybe a potential win in the midst of when the other markets are selling off because the brokerages are market makers as well and they need to make money and if you've been following along and you have the technology 
you know, go to the Coinbase. Add the the whole um, enchilada to markets like Susie did. And then you'll discover in there, hey, you know, this is the difference between certain exchanges. You know, certain exchanges um, seems like at some points they have no opportunity. Um, and then in other exchanges, there's always an opportunity. So I just think that the market makers are are in this to make as much money as possible, including Coinbase. And um, they don't have a lot of pairs on there. They only have like three pairs on Coinbase out of all the coins. And and I just think that's that's for a reason. So this uh, key coin is, is one of the better brokerages because a majority of the time there's there's at least always something on here which is good. Um, the other brokerages can be a little bit dicey. Thanks, Joe. We have four minutes left. Is there any other thing you want to tell us about that you found in your uh, searching today before we're, we're over for the day? <laughs> oh, I, I only found three fish. <laughs> I, know. I only found three coins, three fish. Well, you know, a burger, a loom, and it chills. Let's see what's going. What if we hit up Coinbase really quick and kind of see what happened with that watch list? All right. So what I'm going to do is look for early reversal. Well, this is a we're on a one hour chart. So, um, so we just went through QCoin. Should I go through Coinbase and just kind of look and see if we can find an early reversal on a one day, or should I look for an early reversal on a one week? Look, you can go through that whole thing and see if you find a daily and a weekly, both green. Okay, I see you did your homework, Joe. <laughs> uh, well, well, you know, it's just that um, I just want to just show how to use the technology because if you have this and you're not utilizing the technology this way, well, then you're missing out on the full experience of of the education. You know, um, uh, uh, that's what this is. This is technology. So the more you you know you utilize the technology, the more you can learn more technology is like a good book you know you know even though you read the book once each time when you go back and read it you'll learn something new again and the more confidence um that you have with the technology the more it starts to empower you and then thus it will lead you um you know to the success and, yeah. and this is knowledge is empowerment to the and you going through this, you know, is an, it's just empowering me watching you because, you know, right away, you know, if there's a trade or if there's no trade and you can keep it moving. You don't have to, uh, you know, spend any more time on this today. And yeah. that's what good trading is and, and good investing is, is, uh, you know, you want to be there when it's time to make money. And if there's nothing there. I mean, it's the middle of July. You go to the beach. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that's what's happening with all the money makers, the money movers. And Joe, yeah, Joe, there's a, a kind of an add-on to that. One of my favorite quotes I've heard is, uh, you know, when you read a good book the second time, you don't see something you didn't see before. You see something in yourself that wasn't there before. So all of this is building on itself and you know as you learn your take your skills to the next level you'll recognize new nuances that maybe you weren't ready to see and weren't really relevant to the prior time so i think it's a great way to kind of end the class here today and all great class uh, guys uh, susie great news and um and uh, slightly new format guys you know we're not going to go into the so the deep training on the indicators every week because it's kind of uh, repetitive so we're going to move that into the for those of you that are in uh, crypto mastery it's in the uh, members training area there if you ever want to brush up on
the uh, what the indicators do. And um, Joe and I had a really interesting call this morning about some new ideas. We're always tinkering and figuring out how to make these indicators even better for you guys. So uh, your feedback's always welcome. But uh, we've got uh, got some great ideas for doing that. And of course, Joe's a mad scientist uh, in the lab, twe tweaking and tinkering and using these every day, as we all are. We're all big uh, fans of these. Um, indicators so anyway i uh, hope you guys all enjoyed that and very uh, informative and we'll see how things play out here over the next couple of weeks should be interesting and um uh, susie i'll hand it back to you if you want to kind of wrap up the class and of course this will be on our youtube channel here probably by the end of the day thanks guys Thank you so much, Brett, and thank you so much, Joe, for being here with me. And um, I just want to close saying that these indicators have saved me so much money in the past from not buying too high. So I know this time frame could be a little boring at the moment, to be honest with you, but I would say it keeps these indicators not only will show you when there's a profit opportunity, but it also shows you when this is it's not the right time to buy. So as much as it may seem a little boring right now, just waiting and watching, I want you to know it's it's like survival of the fittest at this point. You know, it's it's telling you danger, danger. So at this point, you just hang tight. But there will be, I do definitely feel like there's gonna be a lot of um income producing activities, or I shouldn't say the IPA, but a lot of rewards coming to those who stay for the long run and continue to learn how to read these indicators so that when you do see an upward movement you, you know that it's it's there it's legit and i think at times like these that really help a new trader know when to take profit so i feel like you're now when you see that you've 10 times your money you take profit so I hope all this is, is collectively coming into your brain and you're going to make good conscious choices in the next month or so. And I think you're going to really be thankful and grateful and you're going to get a lot of rewards coming your way. So I look forward to seeing you guys next Tuesday. And if you need to get these indicators, it's on CryptoMastery.online and we have a super members area. So we, we welcome you to come join the community and we look forward to working with you on a weekly basis. Joe, do you want to say anything before you go? Um, thank you, um, and uh, uh, good luck trading. Thanks, guys.